Okay, today I'm going to show you how I use drum core inside Studio One. Now there's a number of ways you can use drum core. You can use it using MIDI, you can use it with audio loops, or you can use it with Rex files. So let's go with the first one. Let's open an instance of drum core here. Let's click on the MIDI files here. And also select an organic kit. We should be able to cue that up there. And also I might take a little bit of volume off that right there like that. And as we audition there, we can just drag that MIDI file over onto the track. I might give myself a little room here. I'm working on a slightly smaller screen here to do the video capture. Let's tip that over there. There's a little bit of space there. I can jam that in there. And we can just get rid of that. Let's hit the let's highlight both of those and hit D so we get a what's that an eight bar loop. That sounds really good. So that's the first way you can use it. Of course, you can edit out these, these MIDI files. They're great to start with to get a basic groove if, that's, if you want to get going really quickly. Of course, you can just make your own MIDI grooves if that's what you want to do. But that's the first thing that you can do. Just drag them over. The second way of working with drum core is to use the audio loops just as WAV files. And uh, oh, I could hit that button there. So if I hit this audio button here, we, we change over to the audio clips. We've got MIDI and audio in drum core, which is really good. So we're now listening to actual audio recorded loops. These aren't the MIDI ones, these are the audio ones. So I'll just make a little bit of space here. And I will drag these onto a new track that automatically creates an audio track. We can't drag them onto the instrument track because that's basically MIDI that plays this VST. So we've got a few audio events here. And as you can see, we're getting some audio graphics there. They sound great. That's one of the things about working with audio loops here in, in drum core is they, they sound superb. I mean, they're played by, by these uh, high-profile drummers and they've got great sounding kits in great sounding studios. So I love that. Of course, it's not as flexible having these, these uh, audio loops. I mean, MIDI is really flexible. You can move everything around. You can change, you can change the position really easily. It's, of course you can go through and slice these up, but there's another way of working. Now, because I've actually got a, an export folder set up here with drum core, which is a somewhere else here, let's go to one. I've also nominated in drum core that these files get exported to the export folder, which we nominate here, which is where... There it is there. Exported content. I just use the, the default folder. There we are. We've got a Rex folder. So over here, we've actually got these files that are all Rex and exported at the same time as these files here were created. And that can be really useful because we can take these same ones and we can actually import them back into the session as Rex files. Now, that's number two. That's number two. There it is there. That's a Rex file. And the way I'm going to do it is to actually use this great feature which is to right click over and we'll take the 3 and 4 here send to new sample 1 very useful feature and let's take 4 as well now the 
One of the best things about this is it automatically creates a MIDI file to trigger the Rex files that are loaded into Sample 1. So here we have the first, the first loop. These are all the samples over here in the Rex loop. And let me just slide these over here to a new piece of track. So we can play them without me having to mute other tracks. Now, the best thing about that is that's actually playing that audio file in in a as a rex loop that is. It's the same audio file. But it's playing the individual samples, triggering them via these MIDI notes here. And the best thing about that is you can go through and edit up these MIDI, these MIDI notes here. And you can change elements of the loop. But what we can do is we can move these around and you can have another you can have another bass drum there or whatever you want to do. Anyway, you can move them around and that can be a really convenient way of editing Rex files. And uh, it, it also obviously means that you can have tempo flexibility without having to use any time stretch on the audio files. Now, in Studio One, the time stretch is excellent. It really is very good, but you still don't have the, the instant flexibility of Rex files of being able to shift things up and change them around. I guess the other thing to think about as well is that there's less processing required to stretch to stretch the Rex loops than there is to actually stretch the audio files. But to, for me, it's the convenience factor. You've got these MIDI triggers here in this you know, standard piano roll format here on the, on the track, and you can have as many of these Rex loops lined up here as you want, and you can go through and edit them. And uh, it's very, very simple, very convenient, very powerful. The other great thing about it is that these Rex loops play without any pops and clicks. There's another program that's been around for a long time that upon importing Rex files, and it looks really good on the on the layout, but you get a lot of pops and clicks and so forth, and you have to go through and do manual manual fades and crossovers and all sorts of things. And that's a huge time waster. There's no problems at all with that with Studio One. It works really, really well. So that's the three ways of working. You've got your MIDI files, then you've got your audio files in WAV format, then you've got your audio files in REX format using these MIDI triggers, these MIDI trigger tracks, which is incredibly convenient, and great sounding drums as well. But basically any, any REX file that you want to use, all you have to do is go over here to the file, find it on your hard drive, right click and it gives you this menu here. Send to new sample one is all you have to select. And it's as easy as that. It's really very quick and very simple. Anyway, that's one feature I've discovered about Studio One that I really like. The use of the Rex files there and how easy it is to import them and manipulate them. Okay, that's the end of this one.